Old New York Mayor Eric Adams talking about he's thinking about revoking Puffy's key to the city. Am I actually? <laughs> Why? Why? You've never done it before. Why would you do it now? You know, when entertainers or people get these keys to the cities and then they get some trouble and all of a sudden people are like, well, I got to take it back. Why did you give it to him in the first place? Why did you do it in the first place? I heard about Lafayette, Louisiana. Gave R. Kelly the key to the city. Why? And why would you take it back? If you honor somebody with something, there's no going back. People who buy lip sync albums, Millie Vanilli or Paul Abdul, somebody who lip sync or lied on their records. You don't get your money back. So why are you going to revoke something that that looks stupid? Now, I'm not condoning Puffy's deeds, but I've never been a Puffy fan to begin with like that. I always thought he was overrated. Called him Fluffy Duffy Wuffy, whatever his name was. It was the artist he worked with that I liked. It wasn't because of him, but he was a good hustler in the business. But everybody had been hearing about Puffy's for years. He brought money to your city, to your state. That's what you going about. That's what you rubbing shoulders with. So why would you flip on him? Was he good for your economy? Yes. All you think you can do is say, well, we made an error in judgment. Maybe how we felt, we didn't really investigate it. Ain't that funny how that worked? Because, hmm, I know you move on from what he was allegedly charged with in 99 and that whole thing. At the, But don't you, you know, you kind of like look around and go, mm, mm, I don't know. Mm, oh, well, I mean, what's your standards? They have no standards. Eric Adams is pathetic and a joke and a clown. No, you don't revoke Puffy's key. You don't revoke nobody's key. And you don't stop listening to artists. If you were following them on social media, I heard about Young Miami and Meek Mills and LeBron James. Everybody wants something to follow Puffy because it's not fashionable. If you're following before, follow him now. Why you stop? Why fake the funk? It's not like you ain't the only ones that didn't hear about his parties. Everybody knew. First of all, people act like, even though I'm not in that working environment, people act like you don't hear about things. Like things don't creep. Things don't go like, oh, wow, wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, oh. Cracks me up. Cracks me up. You know, good and well. You knew whatever you knew. But the money's green and you look the other way. I don't want to hear about people talking about they're not going to listen to them now. They're going to boycott him. They ain't going to do nothing. They're doing what the mass are telling them to do. If you were a fan, you were a fan. Now, it might not hit the same that it did before. But if you was a fan, you was a fan. If you was just a bandwagoner, nobody knows these people. So stop acting like you they that, that they so, you know, earthy or something. It doesn't change a thing. Did people stop listening to Phil Spector? Because his productions, because he was pulling guns out on people and how that ended. No, don't change. You're still watching Harvey Weinstein movies and you probably don't even know it until someone points it out to you. But you'll still watch it. I mean, you you know, that's all I'm saying about it. So tell Eric Adams, don't even consider that. What you should consider is removing yourself from office as mayor of New York. That's what you should consider. And you can't stop them. And you stepped on the wrong toes with the migrants and all that. But that's another story that you can't because they got you. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like. I'm on peace.